So this is some uh, Terminator lore. Let's listen to Kyle Reese go on and on about the his future history of the robots. Why does it want me? It was a nuclear war. A few years from now, all this, this whole place, everything, it's gone. Just gone. There were survivors. Here, there. Nobody even knew who started it. It was the machines, Sarah. Defense network computers. New, powerful, hooked into everything. So one thing that I thought of watching this, this movie's from 1984. They were worried about AI and machine learning and tech back and then. And networking. Yep. And I don't even think it was new then, the ideas. It's more like from the 40s and 50s, science fiction authors. So all these concerns we have about AI today, machine learning, it's been around. It's been around, but really kind of boiling in the background. I think now it's mm -hmm. a hot fire flame getting real close to potential problems. Or we're pretty or, far away. I've, I've actually, I thought, I thought self-driving cars would have been here by now. So I wonder in yeah. the 80s, would they be surprised if they came to 2024 now? And we're like, all you have is a glorified search engine. That's it. That's right. I think you've you've hit the nail on the head. They feel like they are expecting all like future cars and hoverboards, and instead we got TikTok, which is which is fun. But oh, it's fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. it recommends the video you want next really, really well. They'd be like, "What? That's it? That's pretty clever." I was <laughs> I was predicting machines taking over the world and Skynet, and you get you That's gave right. me TikTok. <laughs> you gave me TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And hoverboards that don't really hover. That's right. Just marketing. To run it all. They say it got smart. A new order of intelligence. Then it saw all people as a threat, not just the ones on the other side. It decided our fate in a microsecond. Extermination. Did you see this war? No. I grew up after. In the ruins. Starving. Hiding from HKs. HKs? Hunter killers. Patrol machines built in automated factories. Most of us were rounded up. Put in camps for orderly disposal. So... Interesting. The the machines needed the humans for something. They rounded them up, put them in camps. I mean, to me, it's like if they if the robots need work done, they would just use the robots to do it. That's right. But they rounded and up the people. Why? That's right. And if if it if I'm doing like a species annihilation, I'm just cleaning people out. Like I'm not stopping to be like, oh, I should save a few so I can do later. Right, right. That I would only do that if I re like I have to like like this cannot be done by a robot. I need a human to do this. Mm -hmm. Which means maybe that the robots have a, a drawback or a disadvantage that humans have as an advantage, and we're just not seeing it. Because otherwise, they would just kill everybody they came across. Yeah, easy peasy problem done. What could that be? Maybe our mm. process, like maybe our improvisation processing is better but then they're just doing body disposal oh is that what they're doing they're just uh, using what's saying i was listening using the humans for body disposal put in camps for orderly disposal spurned it by laser scanner some of us were kept alive to work loading bodies the disposal units ran night and day so they're disposing bodies that Maybe makes that's no sense to me Maybe that's what the, the robots were telling the humans that they were doing, but actually they were using the humans in some other way that humans were unaware of. They're like, oh, this is terrible. I'm unloading bodies into a processor. But actually, I wonder they... I wonder if you keep some you keep the humans around in a concentration camp, in a work camp to do labor, and mm -hmm. the labor you'll give them is moving bodies. However, mm -hmm. you grab a couple of them. A few of them, and you get them to do the real work, whatever real work uh, that you like really need them to be humans for. And then you keep everyone else thinking that you're there for disposing of bodies. And as far as they can tell, yeah, that is right. But you just nab one or two at a time and then get them to do the thing you need. Uh, so that was just fake work, really. Right. To keep them occupied. Uh, you keep like a stock of, you keep a supply of humans around, <clears throat> giving them a job that mm -hmm. they can do. And then mm -hmm. they think that that's what they're there for. I'm like, no, no, no. You, there's a real thing going on somewhere else. Oh, I wonder what that thing is because my hunch is building the factories that make more robots because like be. robots can be produced from the factory. But then if you ask a robot like, hey, build a, ro build a new factory for your, your 2.0 model, they'd be like, what the f***? Like, what do you want? But you could threaten a human into mm -hmm. taking their life away and then they'll solve it for you. 
That's right, and humans have this imagination to be able to build things without it existing. And maybe the robots right. can't do that kind of imaginative thinking. So they mm. keep them around to build and run and maintain factories for the things that the robots can't easily do. I like it. Mm-hmm. So I'm, mm. I'm, I'm guessing that the humans built the factories for the hunter killers. Well, they certainly built the first factories that built the robots. The question mm-hmm. is, you're saying the robots cannot build additional factories to build the hunter killers and additional things. I could yeah, see it. Saying. I could see it. Interesting. Oh, gosh. What if what if humans were actually the ones that came up with the idea of the T-101? Like before, it was just hunter killers and they would roam around. And then the humans were the ones that came up with the idea of like infiltration units. Let's make robots look like humans. And like you can't get a robot to make that, but like you can get a human to make that. Oh, and the robots take care of the traitorous humans really well. Oh, sh- there's traitors. I, I mean, there often are in war. Like I mean, some people defect. Often. I mean, let's say you're up against super robots, and they offer you paradise, and you're like, "No, I'm a human. No, no. Okay, it's okay. My Bam, species. you're dead. Right." I mean, I bet somebody in the room would be like, I think we could solve this through peace. Like, I'm going to work with them and change the robots' minds. Like, I bet somebody, some percentage of people are going to do that. That's right. I mean, they are traitors, but some some percentage are going to do that. Maybe the robots are defending a human paradise that the terrorist humans are trying to destroy. And we're actually on the wrong side of history. I think we just broke the story for T5. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the new sequel is that wait, the whole thing wait. was actually the whole thing was actually human run a human run paradise taking on terrorists yeah yeah so wait there's that's there's actually terminator one terminator two judgment day terminator three terminator four salvation then i think there's a terminator five that was a reboot Mm-hmm. So I think it would then be Terminator Six. Terminator Six. Terminator Six is where we break the story that it's actually the the it's like the poor people versus the rich people. God damn it! God damn. <laughs> the rich people have a paradise and they're using the robots to to kill all the poor people. You travel like like you travel like a thousand miles east and it's like super nice. <laughs> it's just a West Coast war. Mm. And so that's why that's also one of the reasons why they round up the people is because they're trying to convert them to the paradise side, and some of them refuse. The ones that refuse, put them in a labor camp. Put them in a labor camp. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That close to going out forever. But there was one man who taught us to fight, to storm the wire of the camps, to smash those metal mother into junk. He turned it around. He brought us back from the brink. His name is Connor. John Connor. So he's the terrorist leader. That's he's, right. Uh, okay. I mean, okay. Well, <laughs> flipping the story on its head here, but like, possible. Why, well, yeah. Why else would they round up the humans? Yeah, right. Just kill them. Just kill them. Just get yep. it, get it over with. Weird, weird, weird. 